The world of valves is seldom an open and closed affair. Hi, I'm Mike. Sometimes parts and components are very similar to each other, but there are key differences between them that result in different applications for each. In each episode of this video series from Radwell TV, we compare the parts that are similar to each other but also have their differences. Today I'll be comparing a direct acting solenoid valve and a pilot operated solenoid valve. The biggest similarity between the two solenoid valves is that they are both used wherever fluid flow must be controlled automatically in order to shut off, release, dose, distribute, or mix fluids. Direct acting solenoid valves are operated by a coil magnetically opening the valve in a direct action, lifting the shaft and seat of the valves without depending on outside pressure. Current through the solenoid generates a force which pulls the plunger and seal against the spring force and draws the medium upward. As such, the channel is open for the medium to flow through. When the solenoid is de-energized, the valve will close. Alternately, when the solenoid is energized, the valve will open. Pilot-operated solenoid valves operate by the plunger opening the pilot orifice while built-up pressure causes the valve to open and close. Pilot-operated solenoid valves use the differential pressure of the medium over the valve ports to open and close. Fluid allowed to enter the chamber will compress against the diaphragm and force the seat to maintain the closing seal. Once current is applied to the solenoid, the diaphragm is pulled upward and the fluid will flow through. There are a few differences between the two solenoid valves. First is pressure tolerance. Pilot-operated solenoid valves have a higher tolerance of liquid pressure compared to direct-acting solenoid valves. Another difference is how they operate. Direct-acting solenoid valves have a direct connection with the opening and closing armature, while a pilot-operated solenoid valve employs the use of process fluid to assist in piloting the operation of the valve. Lastly is the power consumption of the two valves. A direct-operated solenoid valve has a higher power consumption than the pilot-operated solenoid valve. Though both valves are capable of assisting in control of fluid flow, there are quite a few factors to consider for which would be the best for a fluid system. Thanks for watching this Compare the Parts episode. For more information about Radwell, visit radwell.com or connect with us on social media.